Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the real-time facial puppet tool. So this is a tool that allows you to use your mouse to direct your character's expression. Um, let's get right into it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of it first, but before we do that we need to add in some audio because we're going to layer some expression over top of our characters talking. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our uh, animation tab over here and into practice audio. And we have one audio file called breakfast jokes. Let's go ahead and double click that and choose talk mode. So bacon and eggs walk into a bar and order a beer. And then the bartender comes up to them and says, sorry, we don't serve breakfast here. <laughs> okay, wow, wow. Anyways, we're gonna be basically layering some uh, animation on top of that. So let's go ahead and do that using our facial puppet tool, which you can find up here. And you can also use the P hotkey. So I'll click that and open it up here. So in the facial puppet tool first of all let's talk about these facial animation profiles so we have four different profiles right now human male human female we have comic jp which is kind of made for this character right here and you can tell it's the original jp and we also have this comic bold one which is a little bit the expressions are a little bit more exaggerated and stronger and each facial animation profile has a number of face controls so this one here is uh, general smiley angry sad happy and scared and notice that they all have a hotkey beside them, Q, W, E, R, T, and Y. So you get your QWERTY right here. And this comes in handy when you're previewing. So if you want to preview, you can just press the space key, and that'll automatically preview for you. Or you can just press the preview button right there. And when you preview, whenever you press the space key, wherever your mouse cursor is, there's going to be a little crosshair there. And that's going to be your kind of like your axis, your origin for uh, your puppet expressions. So you can see as I move my mouse around right here, my character will follow the mouse. And it's according to this uh, little axis in the middle there. So as I'm doing this, I can change to like W. And this is the happy expression. If I press W and I press E, this is the angry expression. And then R, this one's like the sad expression right here. And then T, this one's the smiley expression. And Y is the confused or scared expression right here. All right, so now um, this uh, male character, most of these are pretty tame. Uh, none of them are very exaggerated. If we go to JP and we, tr we test out his uh, full face controls, you can see if I uh, do it over here, here's his normal one. And then we go to W, then the smiley one. You can see it's a lot more expressive. The E is his angry one. And you can see he looks really angry right there. And then R, this one's the uh, sad. So you can see he's kind of <laughs> looking sad. And notice that as well, when you move your mouse up and down, you'll get different expressions as well. So this is the T, and it's really smiley. If you go over here, way over here, it's a really big smile. And then there's also the Y. Now you can see that his eyeballs and head and everything are rotating along with his uh, face, and or with his fe uh, facial expressions rather, and I'll show you how to kind of separate that stuff a little bit later on. But let's start off simply by recording a couple of these uh, facial animation profiles just uh, in order. Okay, so as our character is talking, we're going to switch the uh, you know facial animation profile that we're using. So let's, talk, let's start off with JP's profile here. Let's use this uh, confused one over here, or scared, whatever it is. And what we're going to do is at the very beginning, when he's talking, we're going to, when he's starting his joke, we're going to use this one. And I'll go ahead and press record. You can also press control, shift, and space if you, want to if you don't want to use the record button. But I prefer to use record and then you have time to place your mouse wherever you want and press space. So bacon and eggs walk into a bar and order a beer and then the bar. Okay, so we're gonna stop there. I'm gonna press space and stop there. At this point, I wanna switch profiles. Now I could do that in real time just by using the hotkeys. Um, although I like to, I tend to like to stop it myself because it gives us separate clips that we can uh, use later on. So if I press F3 and go into my timeline now, I'm going to hold Alt and scroll my mouse button down to zoom out. You can see that breakfast joke right there is in the voice track with the auto motion, and our puppet clip was created um, from when we used the uh, facial puppet uh, tool, and that's in the motion clip track. So let's go ahead and change this one now. Let's change it to uh, the angry profile, okay? Because when we're when he's imitating the bartender, he's going to look a little bit angry. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll press record and do the same thing. Bartender comes up to them and says, "Sorry." We don't serve breakfast here. And so that's the, sorry, we don't serve breakfast here. You look a little bit angry. And then the next part, we're going to use this uh, comic bold character. 
and he has a smiley, uh, happy look right there. We'll go ahead and select that and preview it. And you can see, <laughs> with a little uh, giggle at the end, we could use something like this and have his head or his facial expression go up and down like that. All right, so let's go ahead and record this. This laugh is going to be like over this way. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so basically in the, you know, under, under a minute there, we just recorded three separate uh, facial expressions for different sections of our monologue here. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and uh, play this back really quick. So bacon and eggs walk into a bar and order a beer. And then the bartender comes up to them and says, sorry, we don't serve breakfast here. Okay, so I mean the timing could be a little bit better, but uh, you can generally see how the results uh, the results you can get within a couple of seconds, really. Um, so that's basically that's the basics of the facial animation profile. Let's take a look now at solo feature selection, and to do that, I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. We're going to start off with a new um, example here. Uh, let's close this down for now. We're going to use this bragging uh, audio file. So let's make sure we're at frame one here and double click on the bragging and go into talk mode. Ha! So what? You can't touch me, because I'm from the internet. All right, some of you may recognize this from Crazy Talk 7, but what we're going to do now is we're going to use solo feature selection to create our own custom facial puppet. So let's go ahead and uh, go back into the facial puppet tool. And this time, if you want to puppet things individually, you can simply just go ahead, it doesn't really matter which profile you have selected, you can just go ahead and press this button up here, which clears everything. And now you can't preview because there's really nothing to, uh, nothing's going to move. So if I wanted to select my eyebrow, for example, I can press space. And I can raise my character's eyebrow like this and close it as well. Um, if I wanted to select both eyebrows, I can do so. I selected the eyelid there, I guess, as well. So we can, you know, do something like this. You can combine that with the mouth. And as your mouse goes down, the jaw opens like that, and also the cheeks, you can do that as well. And there's our smile. All right, so you can do uh, basically all these. You can mix and match them. Um, there's this one as well, which is uh, shoulder forward and backward right here, uh, the left shoulder and the right shoulder. This one is just the actual shoulder that you can move. So if I select these shoulders, for example, I can preview that, and you can, eh, you're like, I didn't do it, something like that, you know. So it's really easy to, to do that, and then... If you move the shoulders forward and backward, you get more like rotation like this. So this one is up and down. This one is backward and forward. So you can do something like this. All right. And now we're going to be using those um, for our uh, first little uh, um, little recording here. So let's go ahead and use use our for our shoulders up right here. So we're gonna he's gonna go ha. So what? And we need to uh, combine that with we're gonna use the lower eyelids and the nostril areas right there, and the forehead little areas right there. Like, ha, kind of like, ha. He's really arrogant looking like that. And you can see the nose is coming up along the sides there as well. And I think that'll work just fine for our purposes. So let's go ahead and record that really quick. Ha! So what? And then this part, uh, press space there to stop it again. This part, I'm just going to use something like an angry profile. Now, if you want, you can start off with like, you know, JP and you can select JP's angry profile. And you can see, you can preview that right here. If I wanted to change that a little bit, I can do so. If I wanted to, you know, add some more anger, I can use that forehead one. So see, for example, right now, if I move up and, or if I move my mouse down like this, and if I move it, uh, if I select this forehead one, I get more of an extreme result on the eyebrows. So you can combine that with other ones, and I can choose the eyebrows as well. And, you know, he kind of looks like Rocky there or something. Um, but you can combine all these together, and you can even, you know, use the eyelids. Um, not the lower eyelids, let's use the upper eyelids here. So something like that, we could have him look like, you know, really uh, kind of messed up. All right, so let's go ahead and use that. Uh, I'm going to deselect these eyes as well. We're not going to uh, move around the eyeballs. Um, so we'll just go ahead and use this. So he says, so what? You can't touch me, because I'm from... Uh, let's go ahead and redo that, actually. <laughs> I don't think the, uh, the eyelid should be closing, so we'll just go ahead and deselect those. There we go. You can't touch me. So we'll do like this. 
That looks good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and record that. You can't touch me! Cause I'm and then for, cause when he says, because I'm from the internet, let's give him like a more satisfied look. So let's clear this, and let's do the lower eyelids, the nostrils, the cheeks, and we want to uh, also raise the eyebrow. Just like that. I think that'll be fine. Uh, that one opens his eyes a little bit. Because I'm from the internet. That looks like pretty, pretty arrogant look right there. We'll just use that for now. Okay, so go ahead and record that, and then... I'm from the internet! Okay, so if we play this back now, let's take a look at what we did here. Ha! So what? You can't touch me! Because I'm from the internet! Okay, so I think it looked, worked out pretty well. And of course, if you're timing, if you want to adjust your timing, you can also modify these uh, puppet clips as well. So say, for example, I wanted this kind of arrogant look to start a little bit earlier. I can simply click and drag this puppet clip. Uh, oops, click and drag it over here and have it start a little bit earlier. So I can say, you can't touch me because I'm from the Internet. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. We can, you know, obviously... Uh, copy and paste these and place them wherever we want in combination. So it's pretty useful. You can modify these puppet clips all around. Uh, another way to modify the puppet clips is you can actually increase the strength of the puppet clips as well, uh, which is what I just accidentally clicked on there. If you click and drag in the middle of your clip right here, you can notice that you can increase the level. And that's kind of like the strength of your character's expression. So if we go here, for example, and we click and drag this down to like 22, Notice that the head movement, at least, will decrease slightly. So let's go ahead and try this with a uh, level Which 22. Because I'm from the internet. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, weaker. We can probably increase it up to like uh, what it normally was, I think, about 70 or something. It's me? Because I'm from the internet. All right, I think that works pretty well. And you can do the same thing with all the other ones. If you want to decrease the strength of everything, you can, uh, you know, take your level down. You can see this one right here has a pretty strong... Uh, example of you know taking the strength down on your puppet clip so we can take that to 40 and just like that okay so that's how you can kind of use uh, individual uh, solo features um, and you can combine those together to make your own little uh, combination of expressions all right the last thing we're going to talk about is blending clips together so let's go ahead and we're going to use a uh, third example here I'm going to delete all these puppet clips that are currently on the screen and let's go over here to, you need to find one called avoidance. So we have a doctor talking here. He's talking about it again. No, 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 of course not. I would never say such a thing. No, no, I think... Okay, we're going to actually just cut this short because it's a little bit long. So he's like, no, 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 I would never say such a thing right here. We'll just cut it and we'll just use this first part because we don't need a really long audio clip to uh, show this blending. So let's go to the very beginning here. And what I'm going to do first is we're going to use our facial puppet tool, of course, and we'll use JP and we'll use this angry uh, expression right here. So just like this. But what I want to do with this angry uh, expression is I want to take off the head rotation, which is right here, and the 3D head rotation. In case you're wondering, 3D head rotation is like this. If we turn that off and turn on only the head rotate, it'll just rotate from side to side like this. Right, and then there's head forward and backward, which is having him leaning forward like this. And there's also the uh, movement. You can move your character's whole head just like that. Uh, oops, the movement by itself is just like this. Okay, so the first profile we're going to use, like I mentioned, is uh, we can use actually the comic bold. He has some stronger expressions. We use his angry, which is like pretty uh, threatening looking right there. So let's go ahead and just record that for the first part. No, no, no. Of course not. And then at this part here, um, we want to use the, we'll use a scared expression, even though it doesn't really look scared. It's more like, a, actually, we'll use JP's. So this one looks like it'll be okay. And we'll go ahead and record that. I would never say such a thing. Okay, so the second part here, we want to have his eyes rolling. The first part, we all we already had the kind of head rotation on. But we want to kind of um, combine that a little bit. We're going to blend over. We're going to record again. And make sure you have this blend data on next recording uh, checkbox selected if you want to do this. We're going to take off everything, and we're only going to have the head 3D rotate. So here I can rotate my character's head saying no, 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 like that. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to record over this puppet clip, and we'll stop it when it's finished. No! No, no! Of course not! Okay, so that recorded this section over. Um, it blended those two puppet motions together. So now we have something like this. Oops, need to press play. No! No, no! Of course not! I would never... And this part here, when he says, I would never say such a thing, we want to have his eyes rolling, because he's kind of being sarcastic here. Right? Maybe he's lying. So let's go ahead and uh, refresh everything and take everything off. And let's only use the eyeballs here. So with the eyeballs selected by themselves, we can rotate them like this. We can have him like, you know, saying, I would never say such a thing, just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and record that. I would never say such a thing. Okay, and I think that worked out fine. You can see we uh, kind of extended the puppet clip there, but uh, that resulted in a pretty nice uh, example. So let's go ahead and close this down and take a look at our final result. No, 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 of course not. I would never say such a thing. Okay, so you can see how you can basically blend uh, different expressions together. That's one thing that I like to do is uh, kind of tend to start off with the uh, facial profiles. And if you want to add certain touches to them, like an eyebrow raise or something like that, you can do so as well. You know, like, uh, say for example, at this part here, if we wanted to add a little bit of an eyebrow raise, Instead of, uh, you know, both the eyebrows going up, we could do so by uh, refreshing this and taking this eyebrow and, you know, recording that. Um, as long as we have blend data on next recording selected and nothing else selected, we can just go ahead and do that. I would never say such a thing. Okay, so we have that little subtle addition there of that one eyebrow raise on the left-hand side there, on his left uh, eyebrow. All right, so you can, you know, add little subtle things in like that. Um, a uh, facial puppet tool is a really, really quick and easy tool to use. Um, you can use this in combination with other tools to create different expressions, but uh, that's as far as we're going to go in this tutorial. So I just wanted to kind of show you uh, how easy and how fast it is and, and different techniques that you can use to uh, create the expressions that you want. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out the forums at over at forum.reillusion.com, and I'll see you next time.